Hello people, here I am with another tutorial. I had a question yesterday about how do I do if I have if I have different frame pictures, footage and I want to mask each one of them. How do I do? So I just made this quick tutorial. I'm going to show you right now. I'm preparing here three images. I'm going to put a transform on each one of them it's important that you click on the the one and the footage you want the transform and you don't have to do this but it's good if you want to do some kind of animation later I'm changing the name there transfer for each transform pick one pick two and pick three uh, I notice it's not that good to make making animations if you start rotating and stuff like that directly in the video sequence editor in Blender. Uh, you don't have any anti-aliasing and it gets a bit uh, laggy. Do you call it that, that way? You don't have this smooth effect. So I, I wouldn't recommend to animate a lot right here. So, uh, but right now I'm just showing you. You have one transform for each one, and now I'm gonna apply a color, and that's gonna be the base for the mask. And the good with this, when you're gonna do a, a, a quick mask, uh, you you need only a white color. So I'm probably gonna change color here to all white, completely white, important. And I, I want. I will hide that because I, I'm never gonna see that color. I'm just using that for my transform here. I have one transform and this is gonna be the mask, the left mask. I'm gonna change the scale there to 0 0.25 in the X and then Y 0 0.8 and you can see there above that I have a new square there. I'm gonna change the position to minus 30 and that's the left I copy that one and change the name to middle. I want to change the names here, middle mask. So because we're gonna get those later, and I wanna have this, so you understand. I, I make it really easy for you to understand what I'm doing here. I'm gonna change the position of the middle one to zero, and you just see the middle one and the left mask is there, but you won't see it because you change. You need to change blend mode to alpha over. You have always to change your alpha over. You have every strip in, in a stack and to see the, the, the strip below, you have to have alpha over. This is the right mask now because it's a copy. You have alpha over already there. And I'm gonna change the position on that one, I guess to 30, yeah, that's right. So now I have three white squares, that's what I have. But these are gonna be the mask for my for each of my pictures later. And I have changed alpha over for the first left, the left mask the, below there. And now I see the third picture of the desert there. Uh, I'm gonna pick all three of the masks and hide them. You have always to hide the mask because you won't use them. You just want the mask for apply a, a strip, a modifier on that later. So now I pick the pick one, the pick, I mean the picture one, in the transform strip there, and I go and apply a mask and go for the left mask. And I won't see anything and that's because all the three pictures are in replace mode. So I'm only seeing the the pick three there because it's in replace that but, but but if I put alpha over on all of this you're gonna see soon I have to put the I'm gonna change all to alpha over and you still won't see anything but as soon as I have all the picks with their mask you're gonna see the magic here so I'm gonna go to the middle pick two there apply a mask and this is the middle mask middle mask there and now it has the middle mask and I go to the third one and check the right mask and now doom, all three of them have the masks and because they have an alpha over mode you can see the background also that that um, uh, the wood uh, in behind there so 
that's that's all to it actually. It's just the same, but you have to put a mask for each picture, and it disappears. There. And I'm trying to do some space here because I want to show you if you want to put some colors on each. Uh, let's see in here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. If I want to apply a color on the first picture there. Uh, you need to put the mask on that one also and and uh, I didn't show how to animate I, I, I think uh, I forgot but I, I wouldn't recommend that I, I haven't had that good results I put the left mask on the color now and I have to have alpha over you see it's always the same maybe someday we have some good add-on that we can do this really fast and just for one click we do all this repetitive uh, clicking and yeah so now I'm gonna use an color a color strip here for for that in the color I'm uh, in the color red there color 001 I'm trying to show you here that you could change maybe even animate the color here <laughs> it's not working yeah there there it is in the saturation I changed the saturation I haven't used this too much to be honest but I was trying here to to experiment a bit and um, you got the idea the important th thing here is the masking how you do the mask for each one and you have them in different spots here I'm doing I'm using another I want to change another color for the middle picture here a green one and I apply the mask on that and I can probably also do something with the color so that's it I hope you enjoyed it uh, have a nice day all of you bye